Samsoni's regime change in his, is in his mind. He must provide solutions to the challenges he's referring to currently under the UPND leadership. That is what electorate wants to hear. Just merely talking about change is like seeking more trouble because people must buy in to the solutions that Mr. Msoni and his friends are providing, but they cannot provide any solutions to the problems they created. That's why they could not resolve them. Only the UPND has the solutions. In addition to that, the over 40, 42,000 teachers that have been recruited are listening to people like Msoni, and they don't agree with him. They know that these are guys who failed to provide jobs. Which jobs they have today? The people who have received grants under the 2,800 cooperatives are listening to Mr. Mson and they don't agree with him. Those that saw bloodshed in the country and cadres brandishing and registered guns don't agree with Mr. Mson on the issue of change. They know that we have buried that kind of barbaric leadership forever. And let him not cheat himself because he has no structures. There is no opposition right now in government to talk about, you know, outside government to talk about. No opposition to government at all. Because even when you look at President Ed Galungu, how many PFMPs are talking about Ed Galungu coming back? They are less than three. Look at Socialist Party. Every day people are resigning. Mr. Musoni Ukani Baba. It is time for you to come to terms with the reality that there is no opposition political party that can beat UPND currently. There are only a few things that we need to resolve under the UPND leadership, and you are done as opposition.